Hey, it's Tommy from The Run Testers and welcome to the monthly roundup. In this video, we're gonna run through some of the things we've been testing over the past month and that we really like. So let's dive in and see what we've all picked. Okay, so Nick, no, we don't normally do this when we do the monthly roundup, but we've been testing an awful lot of saw kit recently. <laughs> yeah. So so we decided the easiest way to go through it is for it to, to have a chat about it instead of just listing it all. Um, yeah. So why don't you start, because you, you've got more of the kit than me, and I think I've got a couple of the items that you've got, so I'll jump in when um, as you go through. What kit have you tested from saw over the past uh, few weeks? Uh, so I've got quite a lot of saw winter kit over the last couple of years I've accumulated a fair bit of it uh, um, and you know it's pretty much across the board very very good obviously you'd expect that from a dedicated running brand with these kind of prices it, it is all really really nice the only one I don't really enjoy using that much is the windbreaker um, which I do find a bit clammy on my skin so I don't use that so much but the last few weeks I think the new stuff we've been testing Tom is the uh, Wooltech I'm going to grab it sorry the Wooltech hoodie um, which oh, I love this one. It is uh, really surprisingly warm for such a thin layer, I have to say. Um, got a nice high neck and all that, and actually it follows on the lines of the Waltech top. So the Waltech top is no hoodie. I think it's slightly softer still. I think I still prefer This is probably my favourite top from the range, just the standard Waltech top. But the new one with the hood, I think, feels almost a bit warmer. Well, he's got the neckline and the hood, obviously, which helps in that front. But yeah, astonishingly warm. I was, you know, in the snow, in the great, you know, snow fiasco we've had here in the uk lately we've been running with just this and a gilet at times um when it's been you know, sub-zero and it, it's really warm um too warm for you i have thought so <laughs> uh, no well i actually uh i i i have to be a quite it has to be really cold for me to wear anything even long sleeved yeah uh, but i have used this recently um for a few runs and it's the uh, normally those runs where everyone else is running around in like a big coat <laughs> this is this is when I'll pull this out, um, and, I, and I don't wear it with anything underneath it. But it is it is really good at it's quite protective against the wind as well, yeah. which is a problem I have in Brighton because it's so windy when I run down the down the coast. Um, but it's great because when you first put it on, you get out there, it it does feel like it's very warm, and you can put that hood up, which just takes the takes the edge off the the weather. Um, but yeah, I, I mean I don't wouldn't use it for anything other than maybe four degrees um, <laughs> so i use it a bit I, more generally than that but i do think I, I with the wind breaking element it is a bit warmer than the standard wall tech top which i talked about in last week's monthly roundup and that's the one i prefer of the two just for general runs but yeah when it gets a bit blowy the extra protection is very nice yeah it's good uh, but I, I do think it's fantastic and on those runs where i do need it um i'm reaching for this now as like my go-to for, for for those cold ones <laughs> then well we Speaking of cold, now you need it to be really cold for this one. This is the Anorak we've both been trying lately, right? Um, with this really big high neck. And I did try this on a run probably about a month and a half ago because I, I tend to run quite cold. I tend to need a bit of a warm clothes on and it, and it was way too warm. <laughs> but um, it's another one. It's not, another thing that sort of really well of all its winter stuff is it's next to skin. You can wear it next to skin, even if it's like a jacket or an Anorak. It's still quite comfortable. It doesn't get too clammy. But this is one I think that's a bit better when you have got a base layer underneath and it's really warm and it's, you know, it's all weather. It's fully waterproof i can't imagine you from ever ever underheating in this top <laughs> i I've, I've used it I, I, the, uh, there's two runs i've used it on where it worked really well and they were basically when it was snowing yeah um and it was fine for that but i still had to run at a fairly slow pace i couldn't get my heart rate up too high because I, i'd suddenly start sweating too much um but that's just me but, um yeah. it's it's very rare that i wear a jacket especially one that thick but i think for some people it does feel very light for something that's got that much heat in it yeah. um it doesn't feel like you've got a jacket on uh, that that is that heavy and i think it's quite strange actually when you put it on and go outside you're thinking oh this will just take the edge off a bit but suddenly you are very very warm straight away and other jackets that i've got that do the same sort of level are quite thick big jackets uh, which i'd never dream of taking out most of the time so it's a bit deceptive but I think for people that probably do get cold quite a lot of the run, especially if you're doing slower runs a lot where you're not really getting your heart rate up too high. But uh, I think what's good about this is it, it's it's because it's so weatherproof. It's really good for runs where you're uh, like exposed so on the trails and especially on runs on the trails where you're going up a thing, getting quite hot in it, but then you're coming down and cooling down as you run downhill and this will keep you warm on those sections. So 
that's quite important when I go out to Scotland uh, to visit my um, my wife's family. And this, you know, the descents you're going quite slow and it's icy. You actually can get really cold very quickly. But I would still say I prefer the all weather jacket, which is. Then they've done a new color range or anything for this year, but this is still my favorite running jacket. I've used it for three years. So I know this is my fourth year or third year with it, and it's again next to skin comfort. You can start wearing it quite early in the year. It's water, it's waterproof, it's really comfortable, uh, and it's cut so it's fast so you can run quite quick in it which is really rare for a jacket that's this warm and weatherproof so but then um that and then the gilet and my favorite bit of time you know i love a gilet um yeah, and, um, yeah. <laughs> God, we must have loads of g- gilets now yeah i do have loads of but this is the best one this is again the sort of all weather gilet waterproof keep your core warm but you're still free to run quick and you're not overheating i love a gilet but you love a hat you've been testing out the hat that covers the ears right oh so this is an interesting one <laughs> just grab it so this hat is Hold on, let me put it on. I'm going to go down because I, I don't normally take my cap off on these videos. People people get st- scared when they see me with my, my you got capless head. You've got a tattoo of me on your head, haven't you? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> uh, right, so this cap is a funny little cap. So I got I got, got this a few months ago when it was quite warm. And yeah. I put it on I thought, I will never wear this cap. <laughs> I, 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 I get quite hot anyway, so yeah. Um, but it's got these sort of, covers your ears. Yeah, but really nice. neatly it's not just like flappy it's like the really <laughs> like, c- n- nicely um, insulates them and there's like a brim cover as well which covers your forehead to stop the, the, the wind going up and I went for a run in this when it was really cold down the seafront and it was fun. it was so uh, just covered you uh, everywhere you needed it and it's not too hot it's more like a wind protector than a thermal hat okay um which I like. I mean, it's sixty quid. It's a lot of money for a, a hat, um, but it does work. It is it is quite nice. I mean, it's sort of designed for. I can see it being a, a hat that's made really for those people that maybe on the trails they're really going at it. They want something that's incredibly lightweight, but uh, just takes the edge off the the wind and stuff. So I think I can see that's what it's for. I, I wouldn't probably wear it around Brighton that, that much because I, I really don't need something that's got this much heat. But um, yeah, I do like it. I think it's good. I think it'd be nice to do. They need a headband, really, for the for the headband crowd out there. <laughs> There's not, is there a crowd? A headband crowd? You can still find them. Um, <laughs> um, right. Last one I'm testing, off. which is which is quite new, is the uh, is the cargo tights. Uh, the, you know, they've got the big pocket at the back there. It's quite a confusing pocket system. If you don't look at it before you run, that's my big lesson here because it's like there's two pockets within here, then a side pocket and a zip pocket. And I was you know, reaching behind me trying to put stuff into different pockets. But um, so like again, the tights. It's very similar to their tops. All their stuff is warm, but cut very nicely, so you can push in it. Like you know, there are some bulky winter tights out there that aren't fun to run fast in, but some people like to put tights on even when they're running fast. And I've been using them this. I don't tend to be a big user of tights. This wouldn't be something I'd go and pick out myself, but I've used them this week in the snow, and they're really comfortable, basically, because like I say, they're just you put them on, you kind of forget about them. They hug the leg, they keep you warm, but they're not restricting you. They're not annoying in any way. They're not sagging anywhere or stuff like that. So they're really just well-designed tights you expect and the back pocket is huge you could you can fit like a coat in there like you know a rolled up coat your phone gel slip your keys in the little pocket there and yeah it all works really nicely so as tights go they're they're really impressive like i say i'm i've got quite hairy legs i don't really get cold legs i find so um uh, i don't tend to use tights myself but i still remember that i think probably if you are looking for tights that are warm but fast they do have their elite range speed elite range tights and they're even better on that front but they're another nice new item to the range a bit more storage so it's getting a bit more storage focus which you know i'm gonna be a big fan of yeah you're obsessed with it <laughs> yeah. well, to carry things with me tom i like, oh, to, yeah. I like to have a lot of stuff uh, is that your lot that's my lot so i guess the question is here like obviously all this stuff's really pricey you're not going to go out and buy the entire saw winter range what was your what are your favourite what's your favourite element of it, Tom? That you think uh, would be something that you know really you know it's expensive but might live up to it in the long term. I think if I was going to get one thing from this that was going to stay in my collection for a long time, it would be the the Wooltech hoodie top. Um, yeah. Just because I, I don't really own many um, long sleeve tops. Uh, normally I <clears throat> normally I just tend to have like one that I use for when I when I actually get cold. But th- yeah, I think yeah. this is a, a good a good option. Yeah, I, I, the actual normal wool tech top is probably my favourite piece of it, just because it, it it will work for people who are like me who are cold, uh, but it also will work for people like you who don't get that cold. It will cover a lot of bases, and then 
looking at the jacket, like I think for most use, probably the Gila is going to cover off people really nicely. Um, I do use the jacket a lot, and I think it's great. But the Anorak, I think, is probably going to be a bit more defined use. You are, it is very warm. I think you are going to be someone who needs that extra protection, probably on the trails or just you know somewhere colder than London and Brighton. <laughs> but uh, it's a nice thing to have. Yeah, but I prefer the ones that are you know slightly more they, they really like that all weather jacket works in temperatures from like 10 pl- positive 10 degrees to you know sub-zero snowing but if you're then going much colder than that the anorak does give you a bit, a bit of extra warmth yeah cool well yeah. i think that'll do for our bumper source monthly special <laughs> source special yeah <laughs> so let's see what else has got to say about uh, the kit they've been testing now my first pick for this month, December's Essentials, it's been a jacket, it's been pretty cold here, so that may be not be a surprise to you. But this jacket's from Free Train. Now, Free Train are most famous for, in the UK at least, they've got this kind of phone holster vest that you see a lot of runners wearing. I'm not really a big fan of that. I think it's a little over-engineered, but they've just moved into apparel as well. And this this windbreaker jacket is actually brilliant. It's a, it's a water-resistant, windproof jacket. I would say it's like a, it's like a mid-weight kind of jacket. It's a little bit more than, a, it's not a shell, it's kind of, it's not a full kind of waterproof rain jacket. But it's a mid-weight jacket that I think takes the worst of the wind and the rain and the chill out of the air. I've been using it in really sort of cold temperatures here. And as, a, as that kind of layer, it's been absolutely perfect. Now, it's nicely fitted. It kind of tapers in at the side, so you've kind of got good freedom, freedom of movement. But you can also still layer up underneath it really nicely. I've had as many as kind of four layers under this. It, I told you it's been pretty cold. So, yeah, and it's, been, it's worked perfectly with that. I love the fact that it's got some sort of brilliant details. It's got a removable zippered hood, which is also adjustable. Um, which is great. You can cinch it down over a cap and keep it in place nicely. It's got a chest pocket. This chest pocket, unlike some chest pockets, where you kind of have it will hold an iPhone sort of 12 Pro, one of the bigger phones, and it'll keep it nice and secure. It won't bounce around like it does in some chest pockets. That's really good. In the back, you've got this kind of extra kind of panel that separates away from the main sort of windproof um, and waterproof uh, material on the back. That helps with kind of a bit of airflow and a bit of moisture movement away from the kind of main section where you get sweaty up in the top of the back. Uh, it's also got these um, these angular kind of cut cuffs, covers over the watch a little bit, but elasticated stays in place. It's nice and easy to fold back so that you can see your watch as well and gives you just a little bit of extra coverage and warmth on the wrists without really being too tight as well. Some jackets can be too tight, you can't get them up over, over the wrists, so that's sometimes a problem. A little bit of reflective detailing on there as well for those kind of dark night, kind of winter runs. It's not gonna keep you hugely safe. You've just got a little bit of top on the collar and on the pocket, a few sort of flashes at the bottom. Uh, and there's nothing on the arms though, which is a shame, because that's kind of one of the kind of high motion areas, which would be good. But yeah, this jacket has been brilliant at keeping out most of the bad weather. It's not too hot, good barrier against the rain, dries nice and quick. And most of all, it's really quite cheap. You know, at 50 pounds, this is a layer that really punches well above its price tag. Next up, I've got these Gymshark 315 running tights, running leggings. Well, actually, strictly speaking, they're not really just for running. They're kind of aimed, really, I think, a little bit more at the gym floor. They come with a much kind of thicker fabric than a lot of running tights. But in the cold that we've had here, I've really enjoyed that. And actually, for adding on some really good kind of winter warmth, a good layer of you know extra protection, these are good. They are quite thick though, so they're probably better suited to colder temperatures. But my favorite thing about them is once they're on, they're nice and tight fitting, they're sort of mildly compressive, but really what I like is the fact that they've kind of zoned different sort of types of fabric that really fit the different kind of areas of the calves into the knees. I've got extra kind of stretchy fabric there. You've got panels that sort of fit down the hamstrings. So they fit the, the lower legs and the legs really, really nicely and flex just where you want them to flex when you're running. They've got kind of nicely, elasticated cuffs but they won't cut in easily fit a kind of a slightly thicker sock under there as well there's plenty of room once they're on they kind of disappear a little bit as well they just feel a bit like a second skin but with a kind of softer i guess more yeah a softer kind of fabric rather than the sort of like the likely kind of smooth sort of shiny cold fabric you get there's a bit of instant warmth that comes from these really love the fact they've got a nice wide waistband as well which has some softer textured fabric on the top that doesn't cut in sits really nicely against the skin also, drawstring, waist, excellent. You want to tweak that. You're not always going to feel exactly the same on your run. So sometimes you want to let a little bit out. Sometimes you want to tighten a bit in. That works for that. Do kind of wish it had a toggle on it so you could do that whilst you were moving, but in case they come undone. But overall, I think these are a really, really solid pair of leggings. 
excellent if you want a pair that cross over nicely from doing strength work on the gym floor or strength work outdoors onto the run. They're also pretty cheap. I think they come in at 35 pounds. So the Gymshark 315 seamless leggings, no chafe as well, forgot, no chafe. Really good, no chafe, that's really important. So that's one of my picks. So my final pick is a bit of a seasonal one. Now I love stance socks. I also love the movie Elf. This crosses those two things over in, I think it's a match made in heaven. These are fantastic. You know, you get everything that you get with kind of stance socks in terms of the quality, the fabric, uh, the fit, you know, the non-blistering, all of that stuff, but you're getting them in some great designs. I've also got these ones, which are the Grinch. There's a load of different sort of Christmas-based designs around the Grinch and, and Elf that you can get. These are the kind of crew cut, which I like, a um, bit higher up the leg. They are thicker as well. So they, you know, probably best suited to kind of winter runs than they are to kind of summer runs. But yeah, you get sort of nice and thick, nice and padded. They say it's kind of got a mid cushion, but they're also a cotton blend. And yeah, I've run with these on shorter runs, no blisters. I wouldn't necessarily take them over longer runs, but for overall kind of warmth and comfort, you know, when you want something a little bit snug to go out on those winter runs, these would be good. Right now, they're also massively knocked down in price. I've seen them for as little as kind of seven pounds. So a great thing to go out and buy right now, stick them away for next year and a brilliant present for the runner in your life or for yourself. Uh, yeah, but these are the stance kind of running socks that, uh, yeah, you can run in them, you can wear them around the house uh, and they've got the elf on them. What more do you want? So my other pick for this month is the Provis Reflect 360 Explorer headband. This costs 20 quid in the UK or $27 in the US and it's a fleece lined headband and as you expect from Provis it's very reflective. All this blue stuff lights up like a Christmas tree when light falls upon it. Yeah it's good 360 reflectivity which does make it a little bit more visible on those dark runs in the winter but it's also just a nice headband that's really comfortable to wear. I thought it was going to be a bit too thick and fleecy to use for faster runs especially if the temperature was above zero but actually that's not been the case i think it is actually quite breathable which isn't always the case with provis stuff so today i took it out for, for an easy to steady like 11k run and it was probably around five five degrees maybe four degrees so not that cold and i didn't overheat at all in the headband and the fit is quite relaxed covers the ears completely but it's not too tight so you can wear glasses under it and over the ear headphones and headphones of an ear hook that kind of thing comfortably so all in all, it's a solid winter option. It will be too warm once you hit milder days in spring. But for now, when it's always dark and it's always cold, this is a nice pan to bed to have. My first pick this month is the Under Armour Outrun the Cold Long Sleeve Top. Now, this top is a really thick top. It's it's really good for when it's it's very cold outside but you don't want to wear a jacket as well. I've been using this over the past couple of weeks. It's been pretty chilly in the UK and this has been absolutely perfect. Um, I would say that it's thicker than most of the long sleeve tops I wear. I normally don't go that thick when I'm wearing long sleeve stuff, but um, when I've been doing a lot of easy runs over the last couple of weeks uh, and it's been a bit chilly outside, this has been absolutely perfect. I probably wouldn't wear it if I was going out for a speed session uh, or race, something like that. It's just a little bit too warm for that. But for those long, comfortable runs where you just, your heart rate's not going too high and you want something that's gonna take, take the edge off the cold and feel really comfortable, this is a really nice option. Uh, it's got this nice soft material, which is quite comfortable to wear. It's quite a forgiving fit, it's not too tight. The only thing I don't like about it is the um, the neck is a little bit too high for me. It's a, I don't find that too comfortable, but it does help keep the, the cold off the, the neck as well, um, but not really for me. It also has some reflective detailings on it, not too many of them. The thing I really like about it is that, one of the things that I really like about it is that it has these really long sleeves on that act like gloves. So you've got your thumb hole in there um, to keep your hands nice and warm. And also there's the little watch hole as well, which I don't really use, but some people do. So uh, if you like that, it's got those on it as well. But other than that, it's just a good, solid, really warm long sleeve top. Uh, and I definitely, if you were going to do some really cold running, it would be a nice base layer to have as well. My next pick this month is the Belega Enduro Quarter Running Socks. Now these are just solid, good, comfortable socks. They're quite padded, they're quite thick. 
So they're really nice to put on. They offer a nice bit of protection around the heel. Apparently there's arch support in there as well. I don't need arch support, so I haven't really noticed it, but they do feel like a very secure, comfortable sock. Uh, they're also quite warm when you put them on, but they don't feel warm when you're out on the run. So I've been doing quite a lot of uh, runs uh, over the last few weeks in these. Some of them haven't been particularly cold. Some of them have been very cold and I've not had any issue with them at all. They feel quite breathable when uh, I, I'm doing speed training and I'm heating up a bit. Um, but also they keep it nice and warm. I've been wearing these around the house uh, over uh, December as well and they're very comfortable. Other than that, there's not really much to say. They're, they're low low cut so um, they just sit above the shoe but there's enough length in there to cover the top of the shoes so there's no rubbing from higher uh, ankled shoes and yeah they're just good solid sock so yeah the Belega so yeah the Belega Enduro quarter running sock not bad at all that's it from us thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon and check the channel out for all the other videos we've got for the latest road and trail shoes as well as running headphones and watches out at the moment and don't forget we've also got our monthly podcast that comes out at the end of each month if you go into the caption below you can click on the link and listen to that on your next run catch you next time